What's up, everyone? Philip here from NBC, and today I'm joined with Brendan. What's hey, up, Brendan? What's that going? Good, very good. And today we get stressed out. I'm so ready to get stressed out, and stressed out we will get because today we are venturing into Darkest Dungeon on Switch. So this is actually one of my first times checking out this game. I have not played it at all on PC, on PS4, or on any of the other releases that it's been so on. So that's interesting. I kind of watched it vicariously through some people, uh -huh. but I never really played it myself only like maybe like the first week or so. Okay. I'm a, I'm a perfectionist, and in this game, you cannot be a perfectionist. This game is about things getting screwed up and you having to just make choices no matter what you choose, things are going to go bad. Yes. I can't deal with that. So I'm like, let's do it. Let's yeah. Make, let's, make a, let's make a Let's Play. Let's make a series. Exactly. Why not? So we're probably going to screw up, and you get to laugh as we do it. If you haven't seen this game before, uh, it's basically you are going to an estate. Should we just do regular? Yeah, normal, let's, normal, let's go in regular. And you get to name your estate. I think we should call it the IGN estate. Yeah. Our ancestors, long ago, they had this uh, mansion, and they decided to do some dumb stuff like released Lovecraftian horrors uh, and then everything's screwed up and we have to go make it right with a bunch of heroes for hire uh, which you brings us to the old road. oh yeah also this narrator is probably the best thing in ever, any game ever he's very serious he's very serious he has the best vocabulary I have ever heard ever <laughs> and also the art style is just so good oh yeah uh, I think we should also we start out with two characters the Crusader, uh, whose default name is Renald, and then the Highwayman, Dismas. I think we should name them after ourselves. Oh yeah, definitely. So that when when they, when they die, <laughs> it'll be all the worse. Okay. And then we can eventually name some uh, people from NBC as other people come in, and then maybe the viewers. Yeah, absolutely. So if you want to be named after one of our characters, drop a comment down below, let us know, and maybe you'll get picked. Yeah, like a, like a class you'd like to be if we see like a leper or a jester. You know, there's a bunch of... Uh, crazy we rogues gallery we can choose from. We never know who's going to show up in the stagecoach every week. So a lot of this game is like basically randomized, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. The dungeons, every time you, you venture out with your party, you enter a dungeon that's kind of randomized. There will be different encounters, there'll be traps, uh, sometimes there'll be good loot, sometimes the loot's trapped and you just get blighted instead and you're poisoned. Okay, so... So this is the very beginning, this is the tutorial right here. Yeah. Even the tutorial doesn't really pull any punches, it's kind of crazy. Okay. So... I kind of want to be the highwayman. All right, yeah, go for it. Uh, I, f I feel like I, I'm a rogue. Okay. A roguish sort. Also, I just like their uh, pistol combat. All right, got that. Okay, Perfect. Excellent. Okay, uh, you're also a kleptomaniac. That might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> just like in real life. <laughs> and God-fearing. Just like in real life. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I think... I'm a known cheat. I'm, I'm always stealing. Uh, so basically, you can see in the map, the bottom right corner, we just choose where to go. Right now, it's kind of linear. And then hallway movement. Sometimes there can be ambushes, like that guy. There we go. Um, so we also have a torch meter, and we have a full torch right now, which means that there's a good chance we can surprise the enemy and go first. If they surprise us, the party gets scattered, and it gets kind of really crazy. So in this case, he was actually surprised, right? Yeah. Okay. Their party never gets jumbled, I think. They can only just get uh, like slower speed. And why don't you accuse them of heresy? Heresy! Nice. <laughs> oh, he's gonna uppercut you. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, Mike... so he just sh shuffled you in the back. Right. So if my character only, he can't use his pistol shot anymore. I could have wasted a turn moving in the back, but I might as well just open his veins up. Uh, so there yeah, there's, a, there's like a... Party management, composition, and positioning really matter in this game. Um, and I often forget about it until it's too late. At least I would in the first couple weeks. And you can reorganize the party like after a battle, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, there are also certain moves. Don't steal this stuff. Okay, good. So what kind of loot can you find in this game? Can you pick up like different weapons or is it mostly just... It's mostly just uh, stuff that translates into gold. Okay. There's also collectibles that you use to upgrade the... Um, uh, the hamlet that you kind of go back to every time, and then there may be some rare trinkets that you can equip, but then you upgrade your weapons at, uh, at town. Okay. Um, so we've got two enemies here now. I want to... I can do a grape shot blast, just hit them all. Nice. Oh, nice job. Dodge. Dodge. 
Uh, let's have you stun him below him. The less that guy attacks, the better. Crowd control is always great. Yeah, I can't wait now. So I guess my character is way more of like the paladin tank type yeah, role, right? Yeah, he is the, the frontliner. We want him. I also want to focus. It's, it, I think it's good to focus on one character at a time. Right. If we start spraying our damage, that's more time for us to get torn to pieces. It's it's surprisingly how fast you lose health in this game. Yeah, definitely. Like I'm used to like RPGs where like I have like 100 hit points and they do like five damage. I'm like oh, I'm good for a while. <laughs> and this is like no. Yeah. Usually RPGs will ease you into like battles and all that stuff, but this one just kind of throws you into it. I mean, there is a tutorial which we're doing right now, yeah. but right after this, I mean, you're basically on your own. So. Oh heresy. no! He missed the heresy. <laughs> Getting kind of a cheeky there. I should just smack him in the face. Okay. Oh, he bleeded to death. We're okay. Nice job. Bleed's always fun. I like the timing so much. Oh man, look at that crit. That was massive. You're out, man. <laughs> so we got uh, a key, which we can use to unlock that chest. And then these are used to upgrade our places in the hamlet. So is that like a crest and a scroll? There's crests and deeds in okay. the town. Um, and so then we've completed our quest. So at this point, you could return to town or we can keep exploring, but we want to remain for a second Ooh. so we can upgrade the, uh, go unlock this chest. Okay. Um, so we, so it says, Bandit's Trap Chest. Something look quite right with this one. So if we investigated it, there's a high percentage that we'd just be like damaged or get stressed out or get a disease or something. Get but stressed out. there's also out. an item slot. You can certain, I think they call them curios. Huh. You can insert an item that might have an effect. So that has a question mark. If you put that in there, it's now safe to uh, open it, and we get two trinkets. And then we also get a uh, new cork sometimes. So I got Manslayer, which I think believes means I don't like men anymore. <laughs> yeah, so plus an accuracy and more crit against them. That's a good one. Nice. Sometimes you get negative corks. Even though you did a good job, doesn't matter. You're crazy. And those are basically like permanent buffs that stay with the They're character. actually, they're permanent to a to a fault. Like I think like, they'll be with you for at least another dungeon run. Mm -hmm. um, and then... They have a chance to go away if you get more. And then you can go to a sanitarium and lock in good ones or remove bad ones after okay. a while. Um, so we have a lot of quest goals. We have to go into the ruins. We have to defeat everybody. Wow, okay. <laughs> Eventually we want to complete your uh, your darkest dungeon quest. Let's do the first one. Okay. Um, this is a this can be a long game, so we'll try and, you know, if we do end up doing this several times, we'll try and just do it to one darkest dungeon run. Okay. Uh, so right now, uh, the IGN estate is in shambles. <laughs> There's no sanitarium. There's no tavern. We must There's rebuild. No happy. Yes. There's no guild. There's no blacksmith. There's no nomad. But there is a stagecoach, which we have new heroes. Ah. And men, so we have uh, a plague doctor and a vestal. Vestal's like the healing class with some damage. Plague doctor like backline support throwing clear. toxic grenades. Okay. Uh, we should probably name them. Yes. Uh, they're both girls, if that matters at all. Okay. We could go with... Why don't we go with mm, Lily for one? Do you want to go with that? Lily for the uh, play doctor? Yeah, sure. All right. And let's go with... Uh, who? How about Miranda? Miranda as a Vestal? Yeah. That's good. She's a good healer. Cool. So, uh, let's see. Lily has... She's a bad gambler. <laughs> and she's also kind of slow on the draw, but that's only in the first round. That's fine. But she does more damage if the if our torch runs low, and she's good in the cove. That's I like that. That's fine. I think she'll be she'll be okay. Nice. I'm gonna feel really bad if we get him killed. Sorry, Miranda. We, we killed your character. Oops. Um, she also has some good stuff. She's got good dodge, and she only prays for stress relief. So also God fearing. Yeah, so we like will get it. along, yes. <laughs> well, you might have to fight over uh, who gets to pray for stress relief. Okay. Because uh, as you, another big thing in this game is stress. As you go through dungeons, you accumulate stress. We're stress-free right now, but if you get up to 100 stress in a battle, you have a resolve check to kind of go crazy, mm -hmm. and you can either um, become afflicted with like paranoia or become abusive or egomaniacal and start being a detriment to your party, or you can be virtuous and instead go, no, screw the stress. I'm going to be crazy and courageous and like you get a buff. Really? Um, okay. So usually you want to keep stress down. So after every battle, people who get too high in their stress 
need to go cool off. And that's why they have the, uh, the tavern to drink away your problems, <laughs> the abbey to pray. Because you and Miranda are both God-fearing, both of you can only pray to get rid of stress. So we probably have to get uh, more spaces available there. Okay, so I think we're ready to embark on our first journey. This is our time. I'm prepared. So I do know that a big part of this game is pre preparation for quests, right? Yes. Um, so here's where we choose our quests. There's only two available right now. One is the end game. <laughs> Is that the actual very last quest of the game? Pretty much. It's, okay. the, it's go into the darkest dungeon. Okay. Um, I don't think it's like the fight the final boss, but it's like go into the hardest dungeon. Right. Okay. There are there are five dungeons in total. I think there's six with DLC. We don't have that available right now. Okay. Um, so it's probably best we start out scouting the ruins. And each quest is like either kill everybody, explore, or kill a certain mini boss, or uh, use some objects somewhere like, you know, douse some holy lanterns or something like that. This one's just scouting. We don't have to go to every room. We should go to most of the rooms. Yes. So it depends if we get kind of uh, greedy and we're like, hey, let's uh, keep exploring. We'll see how we feel at the end of the battle. How many of us are actually left alive? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think this is a good party composition. The usual suspects. We have you in the front. Yep. I'm right behind. Raina's behind us throwing plague bombs. And then Lily's in the back. Oh, no, sorry. I got that mixed up. Lily's throwing plague bombs and Miranda's healing in the back. Nice. So we actually have some magic support, which should be yeah, very helpful. Yeah, as long as you don't get shuffled around. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Later. from what I've heard from researching a bit is that you always want a lot of food, at least like a stack of food. It gets 12. Okay. And then you also want a stack of torches. It gets eight or two. Yeah, it's eight. And then we'll throw in a shovel for good magic because sometimes there are things we need to interact with like cave-ins we need to like climb out of. If not, you take a lot of stress damage from that. Okay. Maybe a bandage uh, in case we get bleed. And then a skeleton key, because why not? Always good to have one of those. Exactly. I think that's it. Ready? Yep, let's go. All right. Uh, one of the reoccurring lines that is the, like, the mantra of this game is um, remind yourself that overconfidence is the slow and insidious killer, <laughs> as the narrator likes to say. Basically, what that means is, even if we think we're doing good, anything can happen at any moment to say, no, you're wrong. So like, you always have to be torch. on your toes. Okay. Hey, we got a torch. Nice. Cool. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Right off the bat, we're just grabbing loot. <laughs> That's good. Just a little bit of stress, but we're fine. Okay, so our torch went down a bit, I think. So we're in dim light. There's more stress, but better chance the monsters get surprised. We can keep snuffing the torch or we can add more. I kind of like to be in bright light. Yeah. That way there's no stress affecting us and there's a better chance that they're going to be just surprised and not us. Okay. If you snuff the torches, there's a good chance that you start doing more critical damage, but so do they. Well. So why did that happen? Why did they just change up like that? Is that just random We still got surprised. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. So yeah, uh, <laughs> we'll make that work somehow. Well, at least, at least uh, Lily but, was on her game. Yeah. Um, so she can throw a noxious blast at the first two rows, which is fine with only two people, or an incision. I'd say we might as well just blight them. There we go. Cool. And I think you can see, oh, let's forget. You can see, if I hold this down, what their resistances are. And so they have a really good bleed resist because they're skeletons, why would they bleed? But blight, not so much. So we don't want to focus on blighting, which means my open vein wouldn't be good anyway. Let's just use a pistol shot. Oh, but he can't hit the first guy because he's too far away. Hmm. Oops. Good job, <laughs> me. Nice. That took off like half his health. Yeah, Perfect. I love his damage. Okay, then Miranda, she, she's our good healer, but she can also do damage. Okay. Uh, this does range. That also debuffs their dodge, making them slower. And then this does more damage versus unholy, and... Sure enough, we're finding someone holy bones. <laughs> so let's do that. Just to eradicate him. Perfect. And then when monsters die, they leave corpses, which can kind of get in your way. If he was like in front and the guy was in back, we weren't able to get to him. We have to spend time clearing the corpses out. Oh, okay. And then I think your accusation also does. Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought this did holy damage, but I guess. I think he has a. I think the Crusader has a skill somewhere that does holy damage, but. I think this is good too. Oh no! So it missed, but it did eight damage? Oh, he's blighted, okay. So yeah, yeah, and he also cleared the corpse. Ah, I see. 
uh, and I can't do anything. <laughs> okay. So just. <laughs> so I'm gonna move. There. Cool. Yeah. She can still hit from the back row. Let's... So she can't do the hand of light that I did last time, but this one's just a work. There we go. Perfect. Hey, no money! All right, let's make sure before I forget to. Is it safe? Um, we can put a key in to be sure. Or should we just try it and see what well, happens? Let's just try it. Let's see what happens. Oof. <sighs> okay, good. <laughs> there we go, a shovel. And oh, this is good. I like this. Cool. It's good stuff. Useful items. Okay, so we have. So we can pick where we want to go, right? Yeah. Once we get to the next area, we can go right or up. So we'll go through here to the next place. So this is why we have shovels. If you didn't have a shovel, you have to dig through it, which causes a lot of stress and damage. Because, I don't know, it's stressful to go through rubble, you know. So there could, be, there could be bones in there. So the top meter underneath each character, we can see like a red bar that shows off health, but what's that bottom bar? That's the stress. Okay, that's the stress bar. So right now, uh, Lily is the most stressed out of all, but she only has like 20 out of a 100. Oh, I forgot. So 100, you get the affliction, right? Right. It keeps going. If you get 200, you have a heart attack, <laughs> and it immediately puts you at zero health to what they call death's door. And at death's door, any attack has a chance of killing you outright. Okay. But you have to hit death's door first. Okay, so we have, who is here? Um, trying to see who we have. So we have Bone Rabble, we have Occult Acolyte, and I think these little sorcerers in the back are the ones we want to worry about the most because they're kind of jerks. Uh-huh. Um, and I also have my human hater thing, so that's probably going to be helpful. Increase damage and crit. So she can't actually do anything back here. Yeah. Besides heal. We don't need any healing right now. I wonder right if now. I should have her change places with, uh, with Lily. Here's a heal for no reason. <laughs> oh no. Oh cool, he resisted the getting pushed back. Nice. Um, Try to look. So all of her moves actually, besides that one, are from the third row. So we could actually have her in the far back. Okay. So she can still pull off all of her moves except for incision, which we already have two melee guys anyway. Um, but I want to get a grenade, blinding gas. Let's stun. Let's stun her. The less she's doing stuff in the front, the better. Oh no. Okay, now this is when he heals her. Straight for the mage. Uh, accuse him of heresy. Ooh, nice! Very nice. Crushed by justice! <laughs> so crits off also reduce stress of your allies. Because uh -huh. they're so like happy to see you kick an ass. They're just like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we can do this. But then when they see you take crits, then they all start stressing out. They're like, oh dude, we're all gonna die. Right. Okay, stun, she can't do anything. That's great. She can heal up Lily. Get back into fighting form. Do you know if there's like any spells that reduce stress as well? Yeah, there okay. are some. So some characters will have those abilities. I think the jester is one people will talk about a lot. Um, I mean, that totally makes sense. Oh, double hairs to kill. <laughs> Comedy does relieve stress. Yeah, it just like everyone's freaking out. It's like, hey, guess what? I got a joke. Like, ah, I'm feeling okay. Here. <laughs> Let's continue in this hellhole. Okay, as soon as we find the jester, I definitely want to be that guy. <laughs> Everyone's getting stressed out again. Just calm down. Let's light a torch. We'll be okay again. There we go. Uh, and then certain dungeons can be longer. Like, they'll be so big that you have to camp for a while. And while you're camping, you can uh, also do some stress relieving stuff. Okay. Everyone has different camp skills. Do you want to go up or right? Um, let's go up. All right. Better be a good path, Philip. I'm surprised you haven't stolen anything. I'm really proud of you. I know. Yes, it's I, been I was, very tight. <laughs> I was waiting for him to go like, well, I'm just going to look at this pack. Oh, it's mine now. <laughs> and like every time it's like something you want. Yeah, it's, it's like, like the best like thing in there. The rare medallion. Like, oh, I'll just take this, you know. Nice. Okay. It's a nice big party. You didn't get surprised. That's good. So the battles are definitely getting more place. difficult the further we go into the dungeon. So. Yeah. So I'll swap them. Nice dodge. Going to fly with. Actually, no, I want to take. Always Whoop. take out the acolytes. Oh, look at that crit! Okay. You can see that kind of hit you. 
Oh no, he cut me back! So yeah, now everyone's stressed out because I got... Okay, good, or is this the bleed? Uh, let's follow up with a... Jim's dead, let's just... There you go. Off. And then you... I think, yeah, I think you can focus on those two. Yeah, because she yeah. just went out by herself. Perfect. Damage over times are always great in this game. Um, never underestimate good. Massive light. damage right yeah, there. A blighter, <laughs> a blighter, a bleed in the right place. We'll just finish them off. Confidence Get rid of you. Wow, we are doing really well, actually. I'm, I'm surprised. But remember, overconfidence <laughs> is a slow and insidious killer every time. <laughs> Ah, deep up and blighted. What, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay. There you go. That's what he's gonna do, <laughs> I guess. He's, good. he's gonna crit you for a lot. <laughs> well, I'm dead now. Executed with impunity. You puny skeleton. Perfect. Okay, so this is a big chest, with and it's got our family sigil on it. Okay. I feel it's like encouraging. We can actually use one of our little busts. And does that open the oh, chest? No, never mind. It's just oh. these things. Okay. So I think we should use a key. Yeah. I, I want to play this one safe. Let's do it. Ooh, a hidden compartment. So there was more stuff. Cool. So we might have just gotten this torch, but because we used the key, we also got gold. Oh, fat wow. Fat loots. Um, and then we can eat since we have taken some damage. But you want to be careful because uh, at certain points in the dungeon, they're all random, there's a chance that your party wants to stop and eat for a second. And if you don't have enough food, they all get freaked out. Like really, really angry, stressed, and hurt. So you always want to have some backup food. Oh Ooh, no! Ooh, a trap. Oh, shit, that's a lot of damage. Is there a way that you can actually like see traps ahead of time and uh, disarm them? Every time you go into one of these rooms, there's a chance that you can scout the next few areas. And if you see a trap, certain characters are better than others, I think. He is like a 50% resistance, so I think he can uh, disarm traps if he sees them coming. But okay. that's only if you have a successful scouting chance. Okay. So, no scouting here. Uh, do we want to go down, or do we want to just go to the 90% and just do the next two rooms? Um, I'm let's, feeling kind of confident. Yeah, though. me too. Let's go down. All right. Let's do it. It's actually kind of dark. Dark and spooky in here. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor Miranda. It gnaws at the back of my mind. The dialogue is so great. Yeah. I have to feel our stuff again in another fight. There it is. There's a little there's a thing there. They're guarding. I don't know what it is. What? Okay. I'm going to heal myself. Miranda, take care of the Miranda. Oh, so, no. like, what's your general, I guess, course of action? Do you go for the strongest enemy first? Is that who you try and take down? I go for the guys in the back. Okay. The guys in the back are usually, usually, from what I've seen, always the troublemakers. Um, whether they're the archers or the casters who, like, just make you stressed out. Uh, they seem to be the bigger problems than just the guys who just slash you. Right. Like anybody can slash, but it's when they get. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Which one now, like, losing health? One of these. Hopefully, Blake, finish. I think I should just finish that guy off. Oh, the yeah. Back row. Definitely. We're just tearing right through these guys. Oh. There we go. Death by inches. Uh, so she also has a party heal. I think it's a good time to use it because everyone's kind of damaged. Oh yeah. It does less healing overall, but it's spread out, which is kind of fine. Yeah, good dodge. Oh, no, Philip, hang in there. Ah. <sighs> okay, I'm, I might give you some food. We also have this this strange little thing. So what is that? A holy, a holy fountain. fountain. Okay. Cool. I. What is this thing for? I think it's one of those things where either it's going to be really good for us or um. really bad. But if it's holy, we do have holy water. Oh, used okay. Used to purge evil and restore purity. Can we use it? We can use that item? All right. Yeah! Nice. Yeah! All your stress is gone and you got to heal. Wow. 
That, that is was worth it. That yeah. was worth the holy water. So nothing is as it oh, seems in no. the Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> what are you doing? You stole. He took everything. Philip. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there was two. There was. Oh man, there There's was a lot of good stuff in there. There was food in there. In there. Food Desperate, times. Desperate times. Desperate times. <laughs> man, order. We're gonna get the cork removed. Yeah. Get that the sanitarium open. Talk to someone okay, about so that. Okay, so here's a hunger tile. So everyone's got to eat. So we could starve, and that's not good. Or we could eat. Yeah. So everyone eats a meal, and now we only have what four food left. And that's why you always want to have a lot of food. Yeah, she seems pretty stressed out. Is there anything we can do to help her out? Not right now. Okay. The only like in the, if unless you have someone who can heal stress. Mm. Uh, so we have one more room. You want to go explore? I yes, absolutely, <laughs> of course. <laughs> this could go bad. Uh, but yeah, the only way to remove stress in during these battles is either having someone who can remove stress, find you one of those little the holy fountain you did, uh, critting crit damage can uh, reduce your stress, but. Usually, a lot more can give you stress than can take it away. Well, hopefully, since we're do we towards have a shovel? Do we have an extra shovel? We do. Got okay, it. good. Yeah, hopefully so that, we'll get through it. That would have been uh, the end of the mission there if we had not had that. <laughs> I think we can afford to use our. All right. Give me best stuff. <gasps> it's carded. Okay, that dude with the gun. Oh no, we got surprised. Oh no. Okay. Oh no. That that stuff. The goblet. That's the bat. See, that give you 15 stress with the bat. And oh, this was a mistake. This is gonna be tough. All right. So this is essentially our boss fight. I, I guess I could say. I guess you could. Yeah. Uh, should we have her full heal, or should we just have her get you back into position? Let's have her get back, get me back into position okay, first. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a good idea. Okay. I'm going to stun the back row. I want that guy not moving at all. Perfect. All right, that's going to help out a lot. Now we can concentrate on the front. And hopefully dwindle down their health. Should I have? Should I move him back in? Because I can't shoot the back row. Yeah, definitely move him back. Then. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's a waste of turns, unfortunately. But I, I'm hoping this will be ready in the long run. Yeah. So it makes sense. Okay. Let's just parasy these guys. That worked well. Not doing too much damage, that's fine. We can, we can deal with that. Yeah. Stun one off of him. Okay, now I can shoot the back. So I'm gonna get you immediately. Just focus on him. Yeah. I wonder if I can keep stunning the back. Okay, good. Great. Keep him locked down. Oh, okay. Good job, Lily. And Miranda, now she's back here. Uh, who should I heal? Should I heal everybody or just heal? Let's go for, um, let's heal the front. Let's heal me, yeah. All right. Get back in there. Even though I stole everything. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't let you die. Yeah. No, we, we love you despite your, your quirks. My kleptomania. Yeah, you got a good dodge in there too. Cool. Get those guys, come on, almost done. We need to heal ourselves next time. Right, finish off you. Good. All right, so the dangerous one is out of the way. Um, let's throw a play back. Start working on him to get him down. She should heal herself, I feel like. Yeah, good idea. Because if we lose her, then we lose all, all healing. Yeah. Okay, try to push him back and stun him, but thankfully my guy's made a pretty hard stuff. And he's a good dodger. He's a very good dodger. He's like a ninja. Yeah, I, I'm loving your two for one. I'm telling you, your, your scroll of justice is just destroying them. Yeah. Now we just clean up the mess. A couple more solid hits, and I think we're good. Yeah, I, I, I I'm pretty sure that uh, blight and bleed can stack. So the more times you blight and bleed someone, the more it's going to deal them every turn. That the eight damage. Very cool. Yeah. That's stuff and now we have one last key uh, yeah we'll definitely use that key the hidden compartment hey look at all that so that's test. uh bus now portraits indeed, did, all three of these are used to upgrade our town okay perfect so we all can right. actually go back and put Hit some it. uh put some funds into our town get some stuff built all that money that was a very good run. Yeah. I'm super happy with I that. I was really worried when we got to that ambush. I was like, oh, we're not going to make it.
<laughs> we did it. Yeah. And uh, looks like we all got experience. You have a new cork. What's it gonna be? <laughs> oh, that's not bad. It's a good thing. Okay. I don't know what it is, but so a better chance. Okay, not cool. not huge, but better than being like a kleptomaniac. <laughs> oh wait, you already are one. We will rid me of that problem. I know we will. So over time, some negative quirks will lock into place, and severe ones cost more to re to remove. I really hope he's not talking about. Your kleptomania. Yeah. So now we have the tavern and the abbey unlocked. This is now week two at the IGN estate. <laughs> After a successful dungeon run. Yeah, let's let's check. It. Wouldn't you know it? Don't tell me it's locked in. It's it's not locked, but it is severe, which means it'll take a lot more money to get you uh, stop your treacherous ways. <laughs> Can we af uh. afford to? Uh... To relieve it, uh, we can't get that sand. I think I think the next week the sanitarium unlocks. Oh no! And then that's probably when my kleptomania locks in. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. So right now we have the abbey, which has the cloister, transept, and three different places to uh, stress heal. But only you and Miranda can only go into the transept to okay. pray. Everyone else can do whatever they want, but I can't go into the gambling hall, which is in the tavern. You can, oh, actually, the stupid caretaker is sitting in there. Get him out of there! Weary and broken alike. Um, so yeah, you can drink, you can go to the brothel or gambling hall. I'm not allowed to gamble. Uh, you can also upgrade these things. So it increases the rate you uncover, and eventually you can have more slots open. Awesome. So is there any way we can alleviate some stress for Miranda right now, or is it all just locked up? If we did that, she would be unable to come out for a whole week, which uh, is another adventure. Okay. But... Can we get new heroes? We have two new heroes. Nice. We okay. have an art... Wait, wait, they're both arbalists. Okay, so limited options here, but at least we have new ones. Yeah, unfortunately, neither of them are healers. So if we put Miranda in, there would be no dedicated healer, which, which, which really we kind of... I feel like we need Gives one. Gives me pause, yeah. Yeah. So let's see, though, of these two. Um, so let's see. She. So this is like a ranged type class. Yeah. yeah. Definitely at more home on the back. Okay. Um, faded, chance to that's a that's a really good quirk, but less HP. I do like that thing though. Hmm. It's like a really accurate uh, person, and then the other one. The other one, bleed resist and more accuracy, but obsessed with self-worship and does not like beasts. Obsessed with self-worship. So I think some of these, like, kleptomania for you is you see a pack, you grab it. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't get a chance to intervene. It just happens. Whatever. So she's super into herself. A little selfish, you could I don't say. Know, I don't know if I want a selfish person on our team. <laughs> I don't think I, I do I'm, either. I think yeah. I'm more happier with this... Fragile Arbalist, who's still faded. So I would say we keep her. Yeah. Uh, we want a name for Pillage. Yeah. Arbalist. Yeah. What about far. Casey? Casey, I like that. We'll have her in reserve. I think once we get another healer, actually no, we could probably sub in Lily for Casey in this next next our next run. Okay. Oh, and I almost forgot we actually got trinkets. I totally forgot about this when we first. Did our first uh, tutorial thing. They gave us two trinkets, and I totally forgot to equip them. So they're kind of like things you can carry for each character. Mm -hmm. Some of them are uh, specific, like this is only for the highwaymen, uh, but these ones, anyone can wear them. And some of them are good and bad. Some of them are only good. So like this one, eight speed and better crit on the first round, but minus three speed after the first round. Okay. And I don't no, if I like that. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it looks like it gives you a lot of speed initially, but... It's like a guarantee you go first. Yeah. But then after that, you're going last. That's true. Uh, the highwayman thing, better crit, but more stress and less virtue. I feel like that's not worth it. No, it's not. That's the problem is a lot of these things are probably going to be... Like, there, a lot of these things are going to be trade-offs. Like, better health, less speed. We could probably give that to you, because you're like a tank. Yeah. And my damage isn't too big of a deal. Yeah. And I'm guessing like speed is more of like an agility stat type yeah, of thing. Yeah, speed for... measures. It's like you have zero speed without it. <laughs> maybe that. Maybe that's not a good idea. Yeah. It has only one speed. One speed to give. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, it basically measures uh, how, if you're going to go first or not. So they kind of like, there's like hidden rolls of like your base speed plus like a eight sided dice or whatever. Right. And like, if you go first, that's a better chance that you're going to be able to do things before they do it. Uh, or you might be the last in your party or whatever. Um, what do you think? Should we have it? Um, let's hold off on it because I feel like that one speed might come in handy. Okay. Do we want to give the quick draw charm to Casey? Yeah, I think that would be fine. I, I'm willing to at least try one run with it. Yeah, see, see how, how it works. works. So now we have more quests to undertake. Um, you see, these ones are all medium, which means these are longer dungeons mm -hmm. in which you'll need to like camp for a while. And I feel like that might be a little too soon. Yeah. I might say for our, for our next playthrough. Okay. Uh, and then there's better rewards, obviously. But this one's still speedstone. I mean, plus one speed. There's no drawbacks. I like that one. I want to win that. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so let's sub in PC with that. Uh, I think actually we wanted that. We didn't we realize last time that Casey's actually or um, Rand's actually better in the third row. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's good. I like that. That is a good. We hope. <laughs> yeah, we say now. <laughs> Got some good money. So at least eight food. At least... Wait, wait, 12 food. 12 food, 12 okay. Food, 12 food and eight bandages. Okay. Some torches. Uh, and then... Any shovel. We got the holy water. Bandage and a key. Sure, why not? Okay. Yeah. All right. Next one. Here we go. The All right. Must be driven back. Second and what better hero. place to begin? And the seat of our noble line. I love that voice. The seat of our noble line. Okay. Okay, so once again, we gotta do. Oh, this is 100% room battles, so we have to make sure every room is clear, which means we probably start by going down. Who likes backtrack? Oh no! Traps again. Why is it always. It's just her. It? Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna go crazy really soon. I know. <gasps> A map. Ooh. Oh, so free scouting. Cool. Okay, so there's another trap over there. And a battle. So actually, there's not a lot of battles. Okay. There's three. But the rooms themselves are clear, which I like. And there's a treasure room. I think that's what that means. <laughs> oh, no! There, were, there were people! <laughs> Lied to me. Okay. Uh, okay, what you got? So we have blind fire. <laughs> random target. It's random target at ranged. Minus 10 damage. Buster speed. Sniper's mark. Is not a lot of damage, but it marks a target. And if you mark a target, certain attacks do more damage. Like this one does more damage versus marked. Okay. Um, however, however, I feel like in the time we can mark, we can just start. Killing. Yeah. I feel like that marking a target thing should be like used for heavier enemies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm trying to see who we're dealing with here. There's Webbers and Spitters. Spitters sound worse to me. Mm -hmm. It's Spits, I don't like it, so let's... Yeah! Massive crit. Nice job, Casey. A bloody good shot. But look at how much health... Oh, wait, no, you took one out completely, right? Yeah, okay. that, was, that was... Yeah. Dead. <laughs> and then we'll focus fire on the other Spitter. The buffs, nice. Oh, Spit! <laughs> look out, Philip! Spit. Oh, you're blighted! Oh. And you're debuffed! Kind of deserve that, though, for stealing all that stuff all the time. <laughs> Oh, jeez, that was bad. Oh, oops. And she's got to take some Oh, webs. no, that's not good. Oh, no, that's not good either. All right. So if she's marked, then they're all going to start fighting her. And now she's blighted, too. Oh. Okay. Um, I can't hit anyone in the back row with them. Did we try the, uh, the scroll? The scroll of justice? Okay. Uh, probably should have done that. Let's just get rid of Pam. I don't like Pam. <laughs> I don't I like you. Actually, you missed your last grapes on everybody, so <laughs> I wouldn't talk if I were you myself. <laughs> All right. So. Leave Casey alone. Oh, so yeah, these spiders do some pretty decent damage. Yeah, they're pretty. They're jerks. I don't lie. Be gone. Be oh. gone, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so she's not doing great, and she's finally. Uh, oh jeez. 
Okay, good. Good good job, Casey. Good dodge. Way to, way to not get hit. You think we can take this one down? One hit? Nice. Just keep an eye on that that venom. Yeah. <laughs> Coursing through her Apparently veins. <laughs> Key on that. If only a lot of... could staunch the flow of Well, we're definitely gonna be able to upgrade corruption. some stuff when we get back. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> oh no! That's going quick. Oh that's bad. Mm. Okay, oh, this is why I didn't want to eat. Yep. That's a good. Oh, you're, you're of course, guy. I get two. <laughs> Decorative urn holds the ashes departed. Should we use something? We can break it with a shovel. I think that's a bad idea. Uh, we could burn it with a torch. We could throw holy water on it, or we could just investigate it. Um, we can't. Can we put a statue head on it? No, no. nothing. All right, let's just uh, let's break it. <laughs> you want to break it? Let's see what happens. You want? I'm making sure your character breaks it. <laughs> I mean, so we'll anger some spirits. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> guilty conscience. Great, I got a guilty conscience. Oh my god, what did you do to yourself? What could, What does that mean? There's the crushing guilt of deeds real and imagined. Uh, okay. Nice job, fella. <laughs> I guess I'll go talk about that with someone and hopefully cure it. <laughs> okay, so we actually found the trap this time. Okay. Um... Scattered traps are visible on the ground. Select the hero and press A while near the trap to touch trap. To attempt to disarm it when heroes are within range, the trap icon will be show up in their status. Some heroes are better than others at disarming. I think as a highwayman, I am well suited to the task. Yeah. I hate opening doors twice. <laughs> Stop stealing. <laughs> Fill it. Oh, you're good. Get that. Serves you right. You can I tried. I tried. Stop. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> Handsome reward. No! That's, look at all that good before. stuff you're taking. I know. We probably could have used an extra holy water, too. God, fill it. Oh, well. A bookshelf. It's inside. Full of old leather and bound, leather bound books. Okay. I don't know. What do you think? Um, I mean, what, what items can we use with it? You want to just burn the books? No, <laughs> we have learned our lesson. <laughs> we that... are not defiling, so we can, we can leave it alone. I kind of want to burn the books. <laughs> I mean, I'm already messed up as it is. I'm a kleptomaniac. I've got a lot of we problems. We need to heal <laughs> these, not make more of them. All right. No, I, I, I refuse. We're, we're leaving that. Just walk part. past it? All right. Yeah, we've got, we got people to deal with right here. You know. Okay, so I'm going to use her battlefield. Oh, so it is a self deal people. It's not for her. Okay. So she can be a backup healer, but she can't heal herself. Okay. I'm also going to... Marked that dude. Marked. So we'll deal more damage when we hit him. I wonder if that's just for her or if that's for every Everybody. Character. So that okay. way I have... So my pistol shot deals more damage versus Mark. It's because he's marked, I'll deal more damage to him. Well, not that much more damage. Yeah. But still. No, don't kill Casey. It'd be good. Stay alive, Casey. Gotcha. You're okay. Nice. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that is good. <laughs> All right. Uh, should we just... Scroll of Justice? Zila. He's so big he takes up two people, though. I can only hit him. Oh. I think we should just stun him. Yeah, good idea. Until we're ready to focus fire on him. All right. Meanwhile, I'll keep... Yeah, look at that. Massive. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. And... Keep healing Casey, because Casey's in the bad place. Bad Miranda. Oh no. Focus. Okay. Let's focus on this guy now. Yeah. Right? 32 damage. I could just mark him. So, uh... Slowly pick him off. Yeah. So he doesn't do any more damage against uh, mark targets, but that's fine. As long as I can do and she can do it. I think that'll make up for it. Okay. So I'll keep doing this because it'll be more okay. Oh yeah! Look oh, at these wow. crits! That was I'm huge. a crit machine! <laughs> Don't shank Casey! She's seen enough! Oh, she's bleeding too. Ugh. She's gonna stay healing. It was good we kept in Miranda's character. Yeah. That healing is definitely coming in handy. Uh oh, now everyone's bleeding. That's not good. Okay. 
Okay. Um, so we can use a bandage, but I'd rather finish the battle first. Yeah, I think we could probably. I want to get bleeded again after wasting the bandage on it. Yeah. Size alone oh. does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Is this body gonna get in the way? Oh. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> nice. That was awesome. Even bleeding. That was really good. Like okay, so let's. Triumphant pride who should we uh, bandage up? I think Casey. Yeah. We can also bandage up someone else. Um, either I say either you or Miranda, honestly. There will be no blood left for the leeches. <laughs> oh, sorry. Where's next? Okay. Four March. Some battle coming up. Oh, not these things. Spiders. Yeah. Okay. Um. Immediately take out the pen. Oh no, he spit! No! No! <laughs> oh. Just keep getting bad. hit with those debuffs. Non stop. Still... Okay. Press this advantage. Okay. Give them I was no hoping quarter. that would happen. <laughs> I don't have any! <laughs> Wait, do I? What is this? Oh no, that's, uh, that's for diseases, which are not. Don't have yet. Not yet. <laughs> Douse in holy water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright dude, let's just do that. Oh really? They don't care for your scroll. Not one, huh? Okay. Sorry. There we go. Do the trick. Yep. So hopefully we can find some anti-venom in a chest. Um, or something. Okay. Didn't steal it! Even the cold we have a shovel? Stone seems oh, bent that's on preventing not passage. Good. Uh oh. Miranda might not. I thought we bought a shovel. Decorative urn. Holds the ashes departed. Should we use something? We can break it with the shovel. <laughs> I think that's a bad idea. <laughs> Let's break it. <laughs> you wanna break it. Let's see what happens. You want I'm making sure your character breaks it. <laughs> I thought we did too. Did we not? I guess not. Okay. Okay, um, All right. so we're between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Quite literally. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's just, I don't know, break through it with our hands. That's a bad idea. Uh, I mean, what other choice do we have at this point? Go back. <laughs> yeah, because we can leave and come back to the same spot. We can, well, if we go back, we start taking more stress. If we dig through that, we take even more stress uh -huh. and damage. And if we take, if Miranda gets to full stress, then she'll go into that, like, essentially almost dying mode, I guess. Is that what happens when you get a full str yeah. uh, stress meter? That's up 200. We're at, she's at, like, 80, I think. Okay. Okay. We're actually doing pretty good. I'm not freaking out yet. Okay. Which I'm very surprised. Well, you're not freaking out. Your character's not freaking out either. He's got, like, the least amount of stress on screen. You, you're doing fine. You're doing fine, team. <laughs> We're doing great, everyone. I'm just not going to go over there. Oh, there's that jerk with the goblet. Uh, let's take him out of the picture if we can. Throw I think he's fast. Oh, or he's good. Yeah. Nice dodge. Let's finish him off. Get out of here! Jerk! The enemy awesome. Let's take an arrow for my troubles. Oh no, we're down to 6 health. That's not good. Oh no. Oh no, 4 oh, health. Boy. Oh no. Alright, Miranda. Heal. Give me a crit or something. Mm. Well, something. That's good. Good job, team. Okay, let's um, yell at them with your scroll. Good, and then I'll oh, just finish them off. Yeah. Uh, but of course, now he's stuck behind. He's stuck in the very back lines, and luckily she can hit, them, but not a lot of people can. But that gives me time to heal, so that's actually fine. Yeah, perfect. I can just out heal his damage. So I don't think yeah, he can't. He can shout the dead bodies. I guess it's always good. Oh, look at these! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Read my scroll. There we go. The onslaught. Right Destroy where it hurts. Oh, what's that thing all the way in the end? Evasion. Evasion incense, occultist only. Hmm. Eight dodge, minus one speed. Why does all the good stuff have minus one speed on it? Is that equipable? That is for uh, occultists, like their trinkets. Okay. Neatly ordered, lovingly admired. Are you serious? 
There's another. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Oh man, I guess we have to go back. I, I mean, we'll have to go one way, so I guess we'll have to go this way. All right. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Just do it. <clears throat> oh. Bare hands. That was Miranda's some resolve stress. is tested. She's vigorous. Nice. Yeah. Well, that turned out way better than we expected. Oh my God! Good job, Miranda. Huh. An elevated state will last until they can't return to town. So this confers stat bonuses and other benefits. So what did just what just so she has more dodge and more speed. All of her resistances went up, I think, too. Nice. Nice job. So I'm sometimes so proud of my team. <laughs> stress can actually pull through. Oh, there's another urn. Let's not hit it with a shovel this time. <laughs> yeah. No, thank uh, you. Let's throw holy water in it. Yay! <laughs> That's good. I like that. Much better than just breaking it with a shovel. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's carefully disarm this. What? Trap. Ambushed by foul invention. Oh. Can yeah. I think you need some health, like ASAP. <laughs> oh boy. Hopefully, there's no hunger checks. Torch. Oh, yeah. I was running out of torch, too. That's not good. Game with the loot. Game with... Oh, we have a full uh, pack of loot. Might be done with this. Great. That means the last battle was the one place we didn't go to. Ah. Oh, no. So we have to get through that other barricade? Yep. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, at least we're not on the edge of stress anymore. So last torch. Hunger. Oh, shit. We don't have enough food. So we're going to starve. Oh, no! Are you on death's door? Oh, no! Oh, no. This does not look good anymore. Any further damage has a chance to kill them. And I can't heal unless I'm in battle. Okay, good, good, good. Just live. Oh, no. Don't, don't die from opening a rubble. Oh. I will literally be shocked if your guy goes down first. I'm so scared. Because you've been doing the best. I'm so scared. This I, entire I time. can't die like this. Are you? We can't. Oh, all right. I mean. Press it. <laughs> all right, here we go. Are you sure? Yes, I can't do it. I can't. Death blow. And despondence set the stage for heroism oh. or cowardice. Oh, my goodness. Another life wasted in the pursuit of glory. And gold. It is a sad day. The IGN estate. <laughs> Wait, what happened to her? We just totally missed that. She just went crazy. Okay. Conspiracy. <laughs> oh, She's boy. afflicted. Like I can't live without Brendan. <laughs> we screwed up. She's not even in our party, though. I, I guess you guys were really tight. <laughs> That's crazy. We might just we might just have a wipe here. Yeah. Should on... we just should we just quit? I feel like we should have done that earlier. Probably. Yeah. I mean, we might as well just go for it at this point, since we all, lost all or nothing. We lost one. Yeah. I mean, we can we can we can abandon the mission. They will survive. Okay. Stress, but survive. Or we could just charge in there. Let's charge in there. I don't think we can. It's ride or die at this point. I mean, I don't know. That's my call. But I'm I'm down to go back if you well, want. Well, I'm go back. dead, so I have no call. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I kind of feel like, you know, we can't let your death be for nothing. You know what that's, I mean? That, that's can't let you die in though. vain. Oh, you guys are so dead. <laughs> you guys are so dead. <laughs> Says the man actually playing the game, which yeah. makes me feel super confident about this. <laughs> <laughs> Not stressed out at all. Oh, okay. Oh, Abusive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fester and die, heathens. I'll just start hitting my own party members. It'll be great. <laughs> Far too convenient. She won't accept the heal. She's too crazy to get healed. Wow. Okay. These dungeons like really wear on people quick. <laughs> is there is there any like chance that we'll actually make it through this? I don't know. Heart attack. <laughs> all these things that you mentioned in the very beginning, where you're like, oh yeah, we're gonna have a heart attack and get like all these diseases. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, that's definitely not <laughs> happening this <laughs> run. <laughs> That's not gonna happen this run. <laughs> so let's just get murdered. 
that's all right. At least it what your death wasn't in vain. That to me is the biggest mission. <laughs> at least at the cost of the entire party. At least party. Miranda had her <laughs> shit together. Yeah. And she was like, she won't let us retreat. Casey's too crazy. <laughs> oh no. Can I just? Oh my goodness. She's like, no, let's do it. She's like that guy at the end of Armageddon, like sitting on a nuke. Let's do this. Let's just stay. Philip's <laughs> dead. <laughs> more dust, more ashes, more disappointment. Can we at least take one down? Uh, we'll do it. <laughs> All right. Get out of here. Woo! That was a wild ride. <laughs> I guess that's why they call this the darkest dungeon. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow <laughs> and insidious killer. Oh my goodness. Did we, are we are we getting to keep any of this stuff? Can we keep it? Yeah. Okay. At least we're not walking away totally empty-handed yeah, here. Yeah, we're just walking away without us. Yes. We have been removed from this game. Uh, all right. And they're just terrified. Well, well except for Rena. Rena's got her stuff. She has Oh no. no. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun as well. Um, yeah, so that was our very first run through of Darkest Dungeon on Switch. And if you guys enjoyed it and you want to see more... If you actually want to see us try and make yes. salvage something from this, we can try. We can definitely try. Let us know. Leave a comment. Leave a like on the video if you, if you want to see more of this game played uh, in a Let's Play series on NVC. So... Thank you very much, Brendan, for joining me today. It was a blast playing through this. I definitely want to go through more of it, um, for sure. Um, yeah, and for everything else, and, and Nintendo, and Switch, and DS, and video games, keep it here on NPC.